We got a full week this week. Bella's got an appointment for some shots and I have a couple of appointments for some cosmetic treatment. So y'all can come along with me on that and watch me as I get this body together. Flourish, fly, soul, shit, energy, oh, we be beauty on glow, river on glow, yeah. Today is Monday and I am feeling a little bit better because uh, that pain in my leg was just driving me crazy, but I'm actually feeling a little bit better today. So it's like 10.30 in the morning. I'm gonna run over to Best Buy to get, um, to get my Dell laptop looked at because it crashed. My niece was, uh, I let her use it when she was here visiting and when I turned it back on it was it wouldn't start up so I tried to do like a, a reset and recovery um, that didn't work so I'm just gonna take it up here to Best Buy because I got that little plan where um, the geek squad will fix shit that goes wrong i paid for it and i never used it so i'm gonna go over here see if they can fix my deal and then i'm also gonna look at the gopro and the um macbook pro while i'm there because when i went to that other best buy they didn't have shit so i'm gonna uh see if they got them over here my nose looking good y'all I am one week and five days post-surgery, and she's looking good. And yeah, I'm uh, really, really happy with the results of the, um, the rhinoplasty, for sure. That's looking great. These legs, gotta get them together. They're feeling a little better, though, so I'm gonna keep taking my prednisone for a couple of days and see if that'll go ahead, clear up whatever inflammation or whatever's going on there. Let's just turn right. Well, come on then, sir. We racing to get to a red light. Neither one of us going nowhere. I'm gonna stop at Publix on the way back. Maybe I won't. I kinda want some of those little coffee drinks. Like I'm drinking this mango thing by Boat House. I like the coffee one. So I wanted to get a couple of those just to have for the morning. I try not to really do too much caffeine, but, and I'm about to start drinking my uh, tummy tea stuff. So maybe I'll drink that instead of coffee. Um. That should be here today. I got a shitload of packages to un unpack, to open, because I just didn't even touch anything around that house for, you know, the last two days. I couldn't. So hopefully I get some of my packages open, get some stuff put up around the house to actually start, you know, putting stuff together. Um, I still need a lot of work on the house. I got to find a, a roofer because there's a leak on the roof. So, buying a house, oh my gosh. You don't have that landlord to call and just complain to them. But we're going to get it together. We're going to get this house together. We're going to get this body together. We're going to get belly together and everybody's just going to be together. Together, together. We're gonna be straight, straightening, straightening. So yeah, let's run up here to Best Buy and see if they can fix my damn laptop. I don't know what my little niece done did. She probably done downloaded a virus or something. I still love you, baby, but TT Pewter fucked up. So let me go see if we can get this together because I got a lot of stuff on this laptop. I use this for my music and 
all my files for, for like work that I do is on this deal so I got to get it back up and running then for the rest of the day we don't have much planned I'm gonna go home and perm my hair and then I'm gonna uh, tie that up and flat iron it it should dry in a few hours if I just let it kind of tie it up and let it air dry so once it dries I'll flat iron it and that way my hair will be done for the week while we go out and run these errands and stuff go to all these appointments because I'm sick of it wearing this baseball cap I can't do my face yet so I'm not going to brush it and put any makeup on um, y'all just gonna have to deal with this all natural turn left um so I can't do, I can't really do any makeup right now because my nose is still sore. Um, but I can do my hair. So I'll do that tonight. We'll do, do, do my hair. So yeah, all right. I'm going to put this phone down so that I can use the navigation. And then I will see you guys at Best Buy. I'll meet you there. Uh, yeah. Turn. Yeah, I ain't running the beat. Hey, hey, y'all want something to drink? Light it up, y'all smoke. She drunk. Let's get it. Money in the building, make your girl do that. Uh, I can't believe her. What you doing, bitch? You fucking with a boss, baby girl, you can tell. I'm an achiever. She just crashed. I see that. It looks like it has a bad operating system now. But you did back up all the data, correct? Yeah, I backed up everything on here. So when it backs up everything, is it doing my uh, software that I have installed on there? When you back up stuff, so when you do software, if they download files into your root of the computer, which is like further than you can access, and you can't download that stuff. So like all of my Microsoft Office and stuff is going to be gone? You download them. Wow. But that's just because you can't transfer them. Like, because if you could, people could just duplicate them and sell them to other people. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But then you can can't download software for that reason. So, but I'll have the files that I you, made with those? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You just have to re-download, like, Office and some of your other applications. Does, is it going to make me pay for it all over again? No, ma'am. Well, Office is linked to an email. Okay. So, it'll recognize I already have the subscription. Yeah, if you stuff. put in your email. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, you want us to factory reset that for you yeah so let's mm -hmm. factory okay. reset it and um put the i think they said that i could get the what, virus protection or whatever yes, on there let's yeah, let's, virus, yes, yeah let's do that so you can take this with you since you already backed it up okay let me get this uh, about how long have you had this computer uh i would say about three years okay All right. Thank you. You, have a good one. you too. You too. All right. Well, that's going to take a few days. So, can't do anything with that computer. I'm going to start backing up my um, computers more frequently, too. Okay. So, now let's look at these Macs. See what's going on here. Yeah. Shout say that she a diva. She turned up like the speakers. Ain't none of them your equal. You on your shit, girl. I see ya. Ooh. Your bags and your shoe match. Write your own chicks. You got your own sack. The mama said she's stress free. She got her ass and titties, so they envy. I'm liking on your swag though. You keep it real, you know pretend though. Ooh, it's hot out here. Go on with dirty stuff with this dirty weather. Let me get on back to this house with this AC. I can't do it. It's hot out here today. It says 84, but it feels a lot hotter to me. So I'm about to give me some Panera bread real quick and take that back to the house for lunch. 
And oh, they got um, they got flatbreads now. Panera. Never seeing those. I usually just get like the uh, you pick two. Get a little sandwich and a salad for lunch. With the Panera menu. I love Panera. Hello, welcome to Panera Bread. Order when you like. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna have. What kind of sandwich. Okay, I am ready. Right. Okay, I'm gonna do the you pick two. Okay. And I'm gonna do the toasted Frontega chicken sandwich. Alright. And I'm going to do a chicken Caesar salad. For that salad, let's add tomato and onion to it, please. I'll take a baguette as the side. I see you already got that up there. That's perfect. And then I'll also try this. Uh, I'm going to do a drink. I'll do. Let's do the frozen strawberry lemonade. Are there any like um, proteins or, or anything, vitamins that can go in those smoothies or no? No. No? Say this ain't tropical hut smoothie. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you. Those little flatbreads look good. They don't, um, never tried that from Panera. That'll be my lunch for today, so. I wonder if it was 14 Okay. I um ran over to Best Buy and got, I'm sorry, not Best Buy. Y'all was with me in Best Buy. I went over to, thank you. I went over to Home Depot and got uh, some grass seeds because there was a huge sinkhole in the yard between me and the neighbor's house. And when I bought the house, they told me that that was on my property. So I was responsible for fixing the hole. But um, it's so close to the neighbor's house that it looks like it's on her property. So I was honest with her. I was like, you know, the surveyor people told me that that's really my responsibility. But she was like, I'll still split the cost with you. You know, she like, unless you want to do it yourself. I said, no, ma'am. So she found somebody to fill the hole for $400. So we got that filled. I looked out the window today and it was filled. So he must have did it either yesterday or this morning. So I just went over to Home Depot and got some Bermuda grass seeds. And we got Bermuda because we're in Georgia and those work well in dry, you know, hot weather. So, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You too. So, I got the grass seeds and I got the straw bed. Um, so, we can put those down um i need oh boy my friend is supposed to come from michigan to help me do some stuff around the house because i saw some 
rocks that I can use, some decorative rocks that I can use to put underneath the deck because under everybody's deck pretty much in Georgia, it's like mud underneath there. I don't understand why they don't put some rocks or some grass underneath. I don't know, I'm not from here. This is the first house that I've purchased in Georgia. So I'm learning all of this stuff. But most decks are like up in the air and underneath it, you could either have another deck with a slab of concrete where you, it's actually usable or it's just this red clay stuff, which is really messy when it rains and stuff. So I'm going to put some rocks underneath mine. Um, and I see a lot of people doing that, putting some decorative rocks or something but i'm waiting for my friend to come from michigan to help me with that because i gotta go to home depot and buy all of these bags of rocks and i'm little i mean i'm fucking five five 135 pounds to be lifting all of that is gonna be a problem so i need a man's hand to touch these rocks um so yeah i'm gonna call him and see when he plans on coming out so that we can um put the rocks down and then also put some mulch down in the front the lawn is the the lawn is pretty well manicured because the people who were taking care of it uh when i bought the house i let them just continue they pretty much do the whole fucking block they probably do the whole neighborhood the whole community so i uh asked them to just continue manicuring my my yard as well so the grass and everything looks good but it needs some mulch in the front there's one little spot they could use some mulch and then other uh, rocks i think that's pretty much all i'm gonna do for outside for this year I mean you can't do everything I'm trying to work on the inside and the outside and again it's a process you got to take it slow maybe I'll plant some trees some little uh, flowers down by the curb because there's some nice little bushes and they're kind of curved like moon shaped bushes so you can kind of put a nice little flower bed right in the middle of that in the center with some color but I don't think I'm going to do that this year. Honestly, I don't. That's that's going on the wish list. That's not something that's necessary. Because the lawn looks fine without it. So I'm going to put that mulch down in those rocks. And then that's it. I already put some lights out. I might put some different ones out. Because I bought some that might work a little bit better. But that's it. You know, you got to take it just piece by piece. It's, it's step by step. Piece by piece. It's just... You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So. That's good. Mm. Strawberry lemonade. Smoothie from Panera Bread. That's A1. Alright, I'm hot, y'all. So, I'm going to go back to the house. Man. and then we'll do some work around the house i'll have my lunch and then we'll do some work though those prednisones are the truth which i knew they were because they've always been the truth but i just wasn't sure if i wasn't sure if they would work because i did i didn't know and still don't know what the cause of that pain is what the source of the pain is or in my legs so I wasn't sure if the pregnancy zone would work those pregnancy zone worked I took that might be the new uh damn man um I took two yesterday I took one in the afternoon and one at bedtime yeah my legs feel much better so those pregnancy zones are the truth um, so I'm going to go home while I feel good and get some shit done. And so let's, let's go. Let's go see what we can get done today. Make productive. So I'll see y'all in a minute. 
Hey guys, so I realized um, my video, I didn't save it. The one where I was in the store in Best Buy actually buying all of my stuff. So I wanted to show you guys what all I bought. So this is my old MacBook Pro. The one that I bought that was used. Okay, so that's the old one. This is the new one that I just bought. And then I got the mouse pad, the track pad. I got the GoPro camera and this little adventure kit. And I am not an outdoor person at all. So this little thing on the head will probably never be used, but the little um, handheld thingy seemed like a good idea. And then I also got this action camera accessory kit off of Amazon not too long ago. It's got like a million pieces in it. So I thought that would be cool to have as well. And I did also get my little Netgear uh, internet extender thingy. So I haven't tried it to see if it actually works for what I needed it for yet. But um, you know what I was thinking would be cool is if I use this old MacBook Pro, which isn't that bad, as a giveaway. So that is what I am going to do. I was going to sell it, but I think it would be so cool to give it away to like my... I don't have that many subscribers, so I got to figure out a number. Like, I don't know if I'll do it at 100 or 500 or 1,000. I don't know. I got I to gotta, I gotta pray on that. But I am going to give this one away. So I'll clean all of my information out of it and off of it. And I will announce it to you guys. So the people who's already su subscribed and already follow me, you guys know and you come back and you're like the first ones to watch my videos and stuff. So you'll know uh, when I'm about to give it away. And then that'll give you the opportunity to, I don't know, quickly unsubscribe and try to resubscribe. <laughs> I don't know if you rig it, it's on you. But I'm going to pick a number and then I'm going to give that one away. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, these are my new toys. Uh... I think I bought some other, I think I got another bag somewhere, I don't know. But yeah, I just realized that the video in the store didn't record, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. All right, now let's get my hair done. Ocean Park. And if the beat live, you know Lil Ju made it. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thighs. Post me a pic, finna make me a profit. When the liquor hit, then the beat get toxic. Why the you in the club when it's wild? I've been listening since brunch, that Order 42 for the table, let's pop shit. Missionary or a doggy style on my top shit. Hey, niggas, hey, know me from the closet. Uh, trying to call me a snake, snake. Yes, I can relate, cause a bit a whole lot of venom. And since these is all rats, when they come around me, all I see is a whole lot of dinner. I walk around the house, butt naked, and I stop at air mirror just to stare at my own posterior. I don't give a f who talk behind my back, cause the knew better than to let me hear. Hands on my knees, shaking, on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking, on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking, on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking, on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking, on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking, on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking, on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking, on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, hands on my knees. Say they wish a big boy and I'm a genie. So high, gotta stay in bikinis. He got a girl, but he keep begging to see me. I love it when a got a mouth full of VVs. No, I'm not a patient, better let him treat me. I gotta be a doctor, how I'm ordering CCs. Go to your place, no face, no case. 99% tent in a blacked out race. I remember just to clap for me happily. Now I'm bossed up and them same mad at me. Acting like they ride the whole time trying to pass me. Watching me go through it, still trying to drag me. Acting like you winning if you think about it actually. Are they supporting you or really just attacking me? I don't give a f about a blow trying to bash me. I'm per the recording academy. Hands on my knees, shaking it, so my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking it, so my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking it, so my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, hands on my knees, hands on my knees, shaking it, so my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking it, so my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking it, so my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, hands on my knees. Drinking out the muff, bottle on my thigh. Everything I eat goes straight to my pockets. 2021, finna graduate college. Got the, I'm a real hot topic. On the make them sing on some pop shit. I need a real headbang on some rock shit. Like, when they hit it like dope, got a real hot box for the don't smoke. Hot girl, but I'm still a colas. Hey, I'm the big homie, but I ain't the oldest. Hmm. Dry hating, trying to get noticed. Man, ain't no
nobody come to see you, Otis. Look, how many lying if they say they boss is better? They really puppet, so I really gotta go at Geppetto. I'm really talking, but it really can apply to whoever. My pen a free, get a go after a join it. Big bang, take little bang, add it up. Taking shots, but they ain't in my caliber book. But I squeeze a little head in my calendar, looking in the mirror like, damn, I'm bragging up. LVs, double C's, Birkins, I'm working. My chain ain't hitting if a chain hurting. Look, I ain't even finna argue with a one thing. I know two things for certain. None of these saying shit to my face, and none of these finna see me at the bank. And I'ma keep talking all the that I want. Now that one he come tell me I can't. We ain't even speaking if the ain't spinning. He could never say that I was one of his women. I don't even let him know I stay. I'll be damned if you think he popping up on this pimpin'. Hands on my knees, shaking it on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking it on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking it on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, hands on my knees, hands on my knees, shaking it on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking it on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, shaking it on my thigh shot. Hands on my knees, hands on my knees. And if the beat live, you know Lil Ju made it. Ah, uh, yeah. Turn. We in here. Hey, bring the ball. Hey, hey, y'all want something to drink? Light it up. She drunk. Let's get it. Money in the building, make your girl do that. Uh, I can't believe her. What you doing, bitch? You fucking with a boss, baby girl, you can tell. I'm an achiever. Shout it, say that she a diva. Turned up like the speakers. speakers. Ain't none of them your equal. Okay. You on your shit, girl, I see ya. Ooh. Your bags and your shoe match. Write your own chicks. You got your own sack. The mama said she's stress free. She got her ass and little titties, so they envy. I'm liking on your swag, though. You keep it real, you know, pretendo. You my type. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Overseas, you know she Skype. she Skype When it rain, we first class where the sun be I feel you fail, cause baby girl better me Yeah, I'm rolling, so I got her in my salary I like to show off her ass an art gallery Money in the building, make your girl do the uh, I can't believe her You fucking with a boss, baby girl, you can tell I'm an achiever Shout it, say that she a diva Turned up like the speakers. Yeah. Ain't none of them your equal. You on your shit, girl, I see ya. Boss bitch, quit to tell them I don't need you. In a different tax bracket, we ain't equal. And I'm high headed, bitch, you better be cool. Keep playing, pull up, flipping shit like Kiko. Got them calling fouls, we ain't playing fair. Bitch, you nail bad, and I got that thing in there. No nigga, and they get me wet up. Freaky bitch, we buddy all together. Money in the building, make your girl do the, uh, I can't believe her. You fucking with a boss, baby girl, you can tell. I'm an achiever. Shout it, say that she a diva. She turned up like the speakers. So this is my final look. Just put a couple of curls in my hair since I couldn't get it done the other day. This is a quick go-to look for me. Just put some curls in there and then let them fall uh, on their own as they see fit. So, today we are going, we got to get up out of here because we are going to, just going to put some Mederma on my um, scars from my rhinoplasty because I want it to heal really well without any visible notable noticeable scars so i put a little bit of this on in the daytime and then we got to get out of here because i have a two o'clock appointment to get um a full body wax so that's going to be the underarms belly full legs brazilian toes and I'm gonna see if she can do my um my eyebrows as well because we are going to get uh, laser hair removal. And you know you're supposed to shave before getting laser ha laser hair removal. And I don't shave. I haven't shaved in probably 15 years. I uh I do wax, so I'm gonna go and get a full body wax. 
get all the hair off and then I think my hair um, laser hair appointment is is this week one day this week but my body will be ready for that procedure take it all off honey I've been wanting to do that for a while but the laser um, the the waxing was working fine but uh, I figure let's just go ahead and do it so we gotta go let me uh put Bella some food and water in her train and I'll see you guys in the car all right we are off to go get this waxing done I um planned on leaving out just a few minutes earlier because this Atlanta traffic honey you never know garage doors closed I have to verbally say that out loud to know that the, the that I closed the, the garage door because if not I wonder did I close the garage door and um I got an attached garage so I don't typically lock that door that goes into the house from the garage so if I leave the garage door open, basically people can just not only get to the garage, but walk right into the house. And they might take Bella, don't touch Bella. Oh, you'd be so upset, I'd come back and Bella be gone, y'all. $3,000 down the drain, they bet not not. I gotta get her chipped too. Which way am I going? I'm gonna make sure that I get her chipped, which really wouldn't help if somebody was to steal her because the chip only works if she's lost and somebody finds her and voluntarily returns her so if they stole her then they're not going to turn her into the vet but bella's not going anywhere so yeah let's uh go up here get this wax and then we are going to go to my cool sculpting appointment uh consultation i don't think they're going to do the cool sculpting today I think it's just gonna be a consult. And that's at five in Midtown. Um, the waxing is in Sandy Springs, a place that I used to go when I lived in Sandy Springs. And I like them, so I continue to drive over there even though I don't live in that neighborhood anymore. Well, it's a 35 40 minute drive on a good day but um that's okay if you have somebody who provides good quality service then you don't mind driving the drive you don't mind uh, paying a little extra and they're not expensive at all but um, I don't mind driving and I don't mind paying for good service that's important to me you get what you pay for so you try to cut corners then so let's go get this done, da, 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 done. and um, when I get back I have to sit and open up these packages my whole foyer is full of packages from UPS and Amazon um, because when my legs went out I just couldn't get up and move around I stayed in bed and I just didn't feel like screwing around with with those boxes and stuff so my foyer is full of boxes that I need to open and the trash ran today so I'm gonna have to sit with these boxes for another week before I'm able to throw them out um which way am I going left so we'll go and we'll open up some goodies. I'm excited to see what I bought. Some of it should be good. A lot of it is just house stuff, but I think I bought a couple of cool things for myself. Uh, I've been shopping on Trade Z and um, The Real Real and Neiman Marcus. So I'm hoping some of that stuff came. Those should be the UPS packages. So I can't even remember what the hell I bought, but 
I think I liked it when I bought it, so I'm excited to see what it is. I got some uh, Chanel makeup. I went to Ulta yesterday and did all fresh makeup because my makeup got messed up when my apartment in Sandy Springs, uh, uh, it didn't flood. Well, yeah, it kind of flooded. I lived down on the lower level and it flooded and then it all turned to mold while I was in Michigan. I had to go to Michigan for my cousin's funeral and I was there for like a month. When I came back, my whole apartment was flooded and molded. So I had to throw away a lot of stuff and my makeup was one of the things. I just didn't want to put something on my face that had been sitting in mold for a month. And a lot of it was probably okay, but we're not gonna find out. We're not gonna know. We'll never know, cause I just threw it away. So I went to Ulta yesterday and I cashed out. I cashed out about $900 worth of makeup. And anybody who buys makeup or shops at Ulta knows that that don't even get you much. You know, I bought a couple of facial products too from the Urban RX collection just to get my skin back. Because after having that, um, that rhinoplasty like all of my face has just been really tacky from that uh that tape being on it and stuff and then it broke out real bad with pimples so that's why i'm not doing any makeup right now i have on bare minerals um hydrating tone uh, hydrating cream with a little bit of a tint in it so it's got like a little slight tint, but I just put that on for hydration. Um, I'm not doing makeup until I get my skin back under control. And my nose just heals a little bit more because it's still pretty swollen. So it's, you know, I just don't want to be touching it too much and stuff. It just, it, it hurts when I touch it. If I leave it alone, it feels fine. So we're going to leave it alone for a while let her get herself together and plus i'm not going anywhere so it's really no use to do a full face if i'm not going anywhere but when i'm ready i have everything that i need to do a nice face i've been watching some makeup tutorials because i haven't really practiced makeup in a while come on i'm about to make this light this bitch it was red it was red it was yellow when i attempted to make it it was yellow when I decided to make it. But by the time I actually got to it, it was red. But I still took it. Because I got to go. But, um... I haven't... I, I haven't been up on my makeup game. I have to say. I went kind of... I did the Alicia Keys things and went kind of all natural. And stopped wearing so much makeup. But I want to get back into... Even if I don't wear it all the time, I want to know how to apply it. Let's just put it that way. So if I have some place to go, um, you know, COVID came about and the pandemic hit and I wasn't going anywhere for like over a year. I've been kind of laid back. So I just kind of fell off and I want to get it back. So I'm going to do some practice faces. My daughter said that I can also practice on her. And I'm learning to beat this face. Watch. She gonna be when she gonna be nice. She gonna be nice, girl. Yes, 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 indeedy. So we'll practice probably it'll probably be a few more weeks though to be honest before I attempt it. I'm gonna set the makeup up. I bought a couple of like little makeup trays to put on my counter so I can organize everything. But it'll probably be a couple more weeks before I actually sit down and put my first face on but I'm excited to see what it comes out like I've been watching a lot of tutorials uh Jackie Anna is one of the people that my sister put me up on so I've been watching her tutorials and I also uh she, she's bomb I like I like the way she applies makeup and I like that we're uh both dark skinned so a lot of the looks that she does I'm able to see what it would look like on my skin tone so that's another reason why I like watching her uh, to see what that final look 
would look like if I decided to use some of those colors that she uses. So that'll be fun, 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 fun. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, go and make it up here to this get done so I'm gonna put this camera down so that I can drive on this freeway and use the navigation and I'll see you guys in a minute Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh Post me a pic, finna make me a profit When the liquor hit, then the bitch get toxic Why the f*** you in the club when it's wild? I've been lit since brunch, that Or the 42 for the table, let's pop shit Missionary or a doggy style on my top shit Hey, niggas, hey, know me from the closet uh, Trying to call me a snake snake Yes, I can relate Cause a bit a whole lot of venom And since these b**** are rats When they come around me All I see is a whole lot of dinner I walk around the house butt naked And I stop at air mirror Just stare at my own posterior I don't give a f who talk behind my back Cause the knew better than to let me hear Hands on my knees shaking So my thigh shot Hands on my knees shaking So my thigh shot Hands on my knees shaking So my thigh shot Hands on my knees shaking I'm a genie, so hot, gotta stay in bikinis He got a girl, but he keep begging to see me I love it when a got a mouth full of BBs No, I'm not a patient, better let him treat me I gotta be a doctor, how I'm ordering CC's Go to your place, no Alright So that is all set She is back And bald Just like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like it You know, it took me Well, you don't know, but it took me a while before I would get a Brazilian. I would get uh, a bikini wax, but I wouldn't do the full Brazilian. And that's Jamba Juice. My daughter was like, why do you leave that little landing strip right there? And I'm like, I don't know. I like my little landing strip. And then finally, I said, fuck it, let me try it. And I like it. I like it. So, um, but I am tired of getting waxed. So that's why I'm going to do the, um, the laser. It's really quick and what's he doing? Oh, he's picking up coins. It's really quick and, and inexpensive within an hour all the hair on my body is gone. So the timing wise is good because I'm impatient actually. So timing is good, pricing is good, but if I can get the laser, just why not? I've been waxing for like 15 years plus faithfully. So clearly I'm not interested in growing hair back in certain areas of my body. I'm just gonna do my underarms, I'm going to do my eyebrows because these are tattooed and then microbladed. So they're just going to be there. So I might as well, you know, do laser in those areas. Um, and I'm going to do bikini. Oh, and I am going to do my full leg too. I think I'm going to do my belly and my toes. So the areas where I'm just not interested in growing hair... I might as well do it but i'm not gonna do the full um everywhere down there on my girly girl because i may want to change things up you know i may want my little landing strip back or something who knows so i'm gonna do bikini and i'm gonna do brazilian because i'll never want to hear on my bum bum like for what but yeah so I probably won't be seeing her too often anymore, but yeah, it's time. These curls are gonna, they'll start to fall. But sometimes when they fall, they fall flat. Sometimes they fall cute. And sometimes they fall flat, but I'm not going anywhere, so. I don't really care. I just needed to do something to my hair because I was sick of it sitting on top of my head. After I curled it, I put the little scarf on it to lay it down while I took a shower. So that's why the sides look flat like that. But um, this is just, you know, it'll, it'll allow me to get out here and run some errands without looking like a 
attack here. Okay, so cool sculpting is three o'clock. Cool sculpting appointment is at five. So I have enough time to grab me a smoothie and some Chick-fil-A. And then we're gonna head over to Midtown for this uh, school cool sculpting consultation. So I'm gonna uh, use the phone to look for the nearest tropical hut or tropical smoothie place near me. And then I will see you guys at our next appointment.